So today I've got a tip for you users who are using the Resolve file for either ATEM Mini Extreme ISO or the Pro ISO. And this could save you hours of time in post-production after doing a record. And what is that? Putting markers in the timeline. Now it's something simple, but it's not actually something that is officially put into the uh, resolve making file or the process. But I figured out an easy way of doing this. And it is all built into the ISO itself. There's no external stuff needed, all part of the package. So what does it look like? Let me show you. So here is a timeline for a job I did recently for a client. We've got a bunch of different camera angles and we've been recording all day. And these are what I'm talking about. So these files are not actually part of the recording. These are the files that I'm adding in and adding them as markers. Now, what are these files you say? These files, I'll jump in there. These files are literally nothing. So these files are literally just a PNG of absolutely nothing. So how did I go about making this? So first things first is I went to Affinity Photo because I am too cheap to um, pay for Photoshop, made a full HD image and a turn on transparent background. Simple as that. So I made that, go to file export, um, save this as a file and call it nothing. So now I've got that, I'm going to go into my ATEM. So what I'm gonna do now is import that file, which I've already done as a blank image. Now that blank image is going to go into my media player number one. Uh, you can also see I've got a uh, stinger set up here. So if you wanna check that out, check out this video up there. Um, so how do I go about adding this to the record? Now, first things first is we're gonna use an upstream key to do this. Um, so I'm gonna use upstream key number four and I've got media player one and media player one key set up in that Luma settings here. And we can turn this on and off and nothing's happening, which is exactly what we want. Um, so I'm gonna go and make a macro now. So let's call this, oops, because we want to make a note for when we're in post. And all we're gonna do is go and turn this on, add a pause, add a two second pause, and turn it back off again. Simple as that. So now I've made that macro and we hit run. It's turned it on and now it's turned it back off again. Exactly what we need. So what that's gonna do is when we get to our edit now is that's gonna pop up on our second layer as that little file. Now it's not something we need, it's not something we want, but it, again, it's something that is gonna be a visual cue for us in the edit suite so that we know something needs to happen. And this can happen during a live stream because this can go to air, like this, this blank image can go to air, but it's not gonna show up. And it can be done discreetly, it's just a single button push. So if you're on the extreme ISO, you can use either a macro or you can just turn on the upstream key button on the actual device itself. Or in the pro ISO, you just turn on and off the upstream key. So there won't be a macro of two seconds, but you can manually just turn it on and off. So, or you can set up a companion button to do the same thing. But this is a super helpful tip that has helped us a lot, especially in this job that we're doing right here. We didn't have to go through and watch the entire thing and find those little mistakes. As I was recording, I was making marks on the timeline itself so that we just went through and bang, great, all that is good to go. Now, you might be asking, what about if we're trying to keep track of where we are in the script? So if you're using a teleprompter or some sort of uh, notes, I've figured out an easy way of doing that as well. So I'll go to this section and in my ISO files, I've got my four cameras, but I've also got the script here as number five. So that means as we're going across, we can um, we can see the, um, the script as it's being read. And then when we're trying to chop things up, we can keep track of where we are in the script because it's literally sitting right there. So very handy little feature for those using the extreme ISO features. And I hope that helps. I hope that's helpful for you in your recording and post-production process. Anyway, if you like this content, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and hit that like button while you're down there. And if you're looking for some help in your live streaming or post workflow, or anything along these lines, my email is down below and I'd love to uh, have a chat with you and have some one-on-one -on -one consulting with you. So thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.